Next, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Next, Inc., later Next Computer Inc. and Next Software Inc., was an American computer company headquartered in Redwood City, California, that developed and manufactured a series of computer workstations intended for the higher education and business markets. Next was founded in 1985 by Apple Computer co-founder Steve Jobs after he resigned from Apple. Next introduced the first Next Computer in 1988 and the smaller Next Station in 1990. Sales of the Next Computers were relatively limited, with estimates of about 50,000 units shipped in total. Nevertheless, its innovative, object-oriented Next Step operating system and development environment were highly influential. Next later released much of the Next Step system as a programming environment standard called OpenStep. Next withdrew from the hardware business in 1993 to concentrate on marketing OpenStep, its own OpenStep implementation, for several OEMs. Next also developed WebObjects, one of the first enterprise web application frameworks. WebObjects never became popular because of its initial high price of $50,000, but remains a prominent early example of a web server based on dynamic page generation rather than static content. Apple purchased Next on December 20, 1996 for $429 million and 1.5 million shares of Apple stock, and much of the current Mac OS X system is built on the OpenStep Foundation. Contents Section 1 History Section 2 Corporate Culture and Community Section 3 Impact on the Computer Industry Section 1 History Section 1.1 1 .1, 1985 to 1986 Founding Next In 1984, Apple co founder Steve Jobs was the head of Apple's Supermicro division which was responsible for the development of the Macintosh and Lisa personal computers. The Macintosh had been successful on university campuses in considerable part because of the Apple University Consortium, which allowed students and institutions to buy the computers at a discount. The consortium had sold more than $50 million in computers by February 1984. As chairman, Jobs visited university departments and faculty members to sell Macintoshes. Jobs met Paul Berg, a Nobel laureate in chemistry, at a luncheon held in Silicon Valley to honor François Mitterrand, then president of France. Berg was frustrated by the expense of teaching students about recombinant DNA from textbooks instead of in wet labs used for the testing and analysis of chemicals, drugs, and other materials or biological matter. Wet labs were prohibitively expensive for lower-level courses and were too complex to be simulated on personal computers of the time. Berg suggested to Jobs that he use his influence at Apple to create a 3M workstation for higher education, featuring more than one megabyte of random access memory RAM, a megapixel display, and megaflop performance, hence the name 3M. Jobs was intrigued by Berg's concept for a workstation and contemplated starting a higher education computer company in the fall of 1985 amidst increasing turmoil at Apple. Jobs' division did not release upgraded versions of the Macintosh and most of the Macintosh office. As a result, sales plummeted and Apple was forced to write off millions of dollars in unsold inventory. Apple's chief executive officer, CEO, John Scully ousted Jobs from his day-to-day -day role at Apple, replacing him with Jean-Louis Gasset in 1985. Later that year, Jobs began a power struggle to regain control of the company. The board of directors sided with Scully, while Jobs took a business visit to Western Europe and the Soviet Union on behalf of Apple. After several months of being sidelined at Apple, Jobs resigned on Friday, September 13, 1985. He told the board he was leaving to set up a new computer company, 
and that he would be taking several Apple employees from the Super Micro division with him. He also told the board that his new company would not compete with Apple, and might even consider licensing its designs back to them to market under the Macintosh brand. Jobs was joined by former Apple employees Bud Triple, George Crow, Rich Page, Susan Barnes, Susan Kerr, and Daniel Lewin, and named his new company Next Inc. After consulting with major educational buyers from around the country, including a follow-up meeting with Paul Berg, a tentative speculation for the workstation was drawn up. It was designed to be powerful enough to run wet lab simulations and cheap enough for college students to use in their dorm rooms. Before the specifications were finished, however, Apple sued Next for nefarious schemes to take advantage of the co-founder's insider information. Jobs remarked, It is hard to think that a $2 billion company with 4,300 plus people couldn't compete with six people in blue jeans. The suit was eventually dismissed before trial. In 1986, Jobs recruited the famous graphic designer Paul Rand to create a brand identity costing $100,000. Rand created a 100-page brochure detailing the brand, including the precise angle used for the logo, 28 degrees, and a new company name, Next, spelled capital N, lowercase e, capital X, capital T. The first major outside investment was from Ross Perot, who invested after seeing a segment about Next on The Entrepreneurs. In 1987, he invested $20 million in exchange for 16% of Next stock, and subsequently joined the board of directors in 1988. Section 1.2, 1987 to 1993, Next Computer. Section 1.2.1, First Generation. Next changed its business plan in mid-1986. The company decided to develop both computer hardware and software, instead of just a low-end workstation. A team led by A.V. Devonian, who had joined the company after working as one of the Mac kernel engineers at Carnegie Mellon University, was to develop the Next Step operating system. The hardware division, led by Rich Page, one of the co-founders who had previously led the Apple Lisa team, designed and developed the hardware. Next's first factory was completed in Fremont, California in 1987. It was capable of producing 150,000 machines per year. Next's first workstation was officially named the Next Computer, although it was widely referred to as the Cube because of its distinctive case, a one foot by one foot by one foot magnesium cube, an edict of Jobs's designed by Apple IIc case designer Frog Design. Prototype workstations were shown to standing ovations on October 12, 1988. The first machines were tested in 1989, after which Next started selling limited numbers to universities with the beta version of the Next Step operating system installed. Initially, the Next computer was targeted at U.S. higher education establishments only, with a base price of $6,500. The machine was widely reviewed in magazines, generally concentrating on the hardware. When asked if he was upset that the computer's debut was delayed by several months, Jobs responded, Late? The computer is five years ahead of its time. The next computer was based on the new 25 MHz Motorola 68030 Central Processing Unit, CPU. The Motorola 88000 RISC chip was originally considered, but was not available in sufficient quantities. It included between 8 and 64 megabytes of random access memory, a 256 megabyte Magneto Optical MO drive, a 40 megabyte swap only, 330 megabyte or 660 megabyte hard drive, 10 base 2 Ethernet, new bus, and a 17 inch megapixel grayscale display measuring 1000. 120 by 832 pixels. In 1989, a typical PC included 640 kilobytes to 4 megabytes of RAM, the 8086, 8088, 
286 or 386 CPU, a 640 by 350 16 color or 720 by 348 monochrome display, a 10 to 20 megabyte hard drive, and few networking capabilities. The Magneto optical drive, manufactured by Canon, was used as the primary mass storage device. These drives were relatively new to the market, and the Next was the first computer to use them. They were cheaper than hard drives, but slower, with an average seek time of 96 milliseconds. The design made it impossible to move files between computers without a network, since each Next computer had only one MO drive and the disk could not be removed without shutting down the system. Storage options proved challenging for the first Next computers. The Magneto optical media was relatively expensive and had performance and reliability problems despite being faster than a floppy drive. Disks cost about $100 each, and the drive was not sufficient to run as the primary medium running the Next Step operating system, both in terms of speed and capability. In 1989, Next struck a deal for former compact reseller Businessland to sell Next computers in select markets nationwide. Selling through a retailer was a major change from Next's original business model of only selling directly to students and educational institutions. Businessland founder David Norman predicted that sales of the Next computer would surpass sales of compact computers after 12 months. In 1989, Canon invested 100 million US dollars in Next, giving it a 16.67% stake, making Next worth almost 600 million dollars. Canon invested in Next with the condition that it would be able to use the Next Step environment with its own workstations, which would mean a greatly expanded market for the software. Eventually, Canon released a Next Station, which used the Intel GX processor for the Japanese market. Canon also served as Next's distributor in Japan. The first Next computers were released on the retail market in 1990 for $9,999. Next's original investor, Ross Perot, resigned from the board of directors in June 1991 to dedicate more time to Perot Systems, a Plano, Texas-based systems integrator. Section 1.2.2, Second Generation. Next released a second generation of workstations in 1990. The new range included a revised Next computer, renamed the Next Cube, and the Next Station, renamed the Slab, which used a pizza box case form factor. Jobs was explicit in ensuring the Next staff did not use the latter terminology, lest the Next machines be compared to competing Sun workstations. The Magneto optical drive was replaced with a 2.88 megabyte floppy drive to offer users a way to use their floppy disks. However, individual 2.88 megabyte floppies were expensive, and the technology did not supplant the 1.44 megabyte floppy. Realizing this, Next utilized the CD-ROM drive, which eventually became an industry standard for storage. Color graphics were available on the Next Station Color and the Next Dimension graphics processor hardware for the Next Cube. The new computers were cheaper and faster than their predecessors, with the new Motorola 68040 processor. In 1992, Next launched turbo variants of the Next Cube and Next Station, with a 33 MHz 68040 processor and maximum RAM capacity increased to 128 MB. Next's long-term aim was to migrate to the RISC, Reduced Instruction Set Computing, architecture, a processor design strategy intended to increase performance. The project was known as the Next RISC Workstation, or NRW. Initially, the NRW was to be based on the Motorola 88110 processor, but due to a lack of confidence in Motorola's commitment to the 88K architecture, it was later redesigned around dual PowerPC 601s. Next produced some motherboards and enclosures, but exited the hardware business before full production. Next sold 20,000 computers in 1992. Next counted upgraded motherboards on backorder as sales. 
a small number compared with their competitors. The company reported sales of $140 million in 1992, encouraging Canon to invest a further $30 million to keep the company afloat. In total, 50,000 Next machines were sold. Section 1.2.3 Software Applications Several developers used the Next platform to write pioneering programs. Tim Berners-Lee used a Next computer in 1991 to create the first web browser and web server. Quoting Robert Kellyall, Mike Sendall buys a Next Cube for evaluation and gives it to Tim Berners-Lee. Tim's prototype implementation on Next Step is made in the space of a few months, thanks to the qualities of the Next Step software development system. This prototype offers what you see is what you get, browsing and authoring. Current web browsers used in surfing the internet are mere passive windows, depriving the user of the possibility to contribute. During some sessions in the CERN cafeteria, Tim and I tried to find a catching name for the system. I was determined that the name should not yet again be taken from Greek mythology. Tim proposes World Wide Web. I like this very much, except that it is difficult to pronounce in French." Unquote. In the early 1990s, John Carmack used a next cube to build two of his pioneering games, Wolfenstein 3D and Doom. Other commercial programs were released for next computers, including the Lotus Improv spreadsheet program and Mathematica. The systems also came with a number of smaller built-in applications, such as the Merriam-Webster Collegiate Dictionary, Oxford Quotations, the complete works of William Shakespeare, and the digital librarian search engine to access them. Section 1.3, 1993 to 1996, Next Software. Next started porting the Next Step operating system to PC-compatible computers using the Intel 486 processor in 1992. The operating system was ported to Intel's architecture because of a change in Next's business strategy. By late 1993, this port was complete and version 3.1, also known as Next Step 486, was released. Prior to the release of Next Step, Chrysler planned to buy 3,000 copies in 1992. Next Step 3.x was later ported to PA Risk and Spark based platforms for a total of four versions Next Step Next for Next's 68K black boxes, Next Step Intel, Next Step PA Risk, and Next Step Spark. Although these ports were not widely used, Next Step gained popularity at institutions such as First Chicago NBD. Swiss Bank Corporation, O'Connor and Company, and other organizations owing to its programming model. It was also used by many American federal agencies, such as the Naval Research Laboratory, the National Security Agency, the Advanced Research Projects Agency, the Central Intelligence Agency, and the National Reconnaissance Office. Next withdrew from the hardware business in 1993 and the company was renamed Next Software Inc. Subsequently, 300 of the 540 staff employees were laid off. Next negotiated to sell the hardware business, including the Fremont factory, to Canon. Canon later pulled out of the deal. Work on the PowerPC machines was stopped, along with all hardware production. CEO of Sun Microsystems, Scott McNeely, announced plans to invest $10 million in 1993 and use Next Software, OpenStep, in future Sun systems. Next partnered with Sun to create OpenStep, which was Next Step Sun's the mock-based kernel. After dropping the hardware business, Next returned to selling a toolkit to run on other operating systems, in effect, returning to the original business plan. New products based on OpenStep were released including OpenStep Enterprise, a version for Microsoft's Windows NT. The company also launched WebObjects, a platform for building large-scale dynamic web applications. Many large businesses, including Dell, Disney, WorldCom, and the BBC, used this WebObjects software. Apple still uses it for the iTunes Store, 
and most of its corporate website. Section 1.4, 1996, After Next. Apple Computer announced an intention to acquire Next on December 20, 1996. Apple paid $429 million in cash, which went to the initial investors, and 1.5 million Apple shares, which went to Steve Jobs. Jobs was deliberately not given cash for his part in the deal. The main purpose of the acquisition was to use Next Step as a foundation to replace the dated Mac OS operating system. Apple favored this option over others, which included continuing development of the Coplin operating system or purchasing the B operating system, BOS. Jobs returned to Apple as a consultant in 1997, and then, after the 4 July weekend the same year, became interim CEO. In 2000, Jobs took the CEO position as a permanent assignment. Several Next executives replaced their Apple counterparts when Steve Jobs restructured the company board of directors. Over the next five years, the Next Step operating system was ported to the PowerPC architecture. At the same time, an Intel port and OpenStep Enterprise Toolkit for Windows were both produced. The operating system was codenamed Rhapsody, while the toolkit for development on all platforms was called Yellowbox. For backwards compatibility, Apple added the Blue Box to the Macintosh, allowing existing Mac applications to be run in a self-contained, cooperative, multitasking environment. A server version of the new operating system was released as Mac OS X Server 1.0 in 1999, and the first consumer version, Mac OS X 10.0, in 2001. The OpenStep Developers Toolkit was renamed Coco. Rhapsody's Blue Box was renamed Classic Environment. Apple included an updated version of the original Macintosh Toolbox that allowed existing Mac applications access to the environment without the constraints of Blue Box, called Carbon. Some of Next Step's interface features were used in Mac OS X, including the Dock, the Services menu, the Finder's Browser View, and the text system NS Text. Next Step's processor independent capabilities were retained in Mac OS X, leading to both PowerPC and Intel x86 versions, although only PowerPC versions were publicly available before 2006. Apple moved to Intel processors by August 2006. Section 2 Corporate Culture and Community Jobs had felt stigmied by Apple's corporate culture and was determined to avoid the bureaucratic infighting that led to his resignation. He created a different corporate culture at Next in terms of facilities, salaries, and benefits. Jobs had experimented with some structural changes at Apple, but at Next he abandoned conventional corporate structures, instead making a community with members instead of employees. There were only two different salaries at Next until the early 1990s. Team members who joined before 1986 were paid $75,000, while those who joined afterward were paid $50,000. This caused a few awkward situations where managers were paid less than their employees. Employees were given performance reviews and raises every six months because of the Spartan salary plans. To foster openness, all employees had full access to the payrolls, although few employees ever took advantage of the privilege. Next's health insurance plan offered benefits to not only married couples, but unmarried couples and same-sex couples, although the latter privilege was later withdrawn due to insurance complications. The payroll schedule was also very different from other companies in Silicon Valley at the time. Instead of getting paid twice a month at the end of the pay period, employees would get paid once a month in advance. Jobs found office space in Palo Alto on Deer Creek Road, occupying a glass and concrete building, which featured a staircase designed by architect I. M. Pei. The first floor used hardwood flooring and large work tables where the workstations would be assembled. To avoid inventory errors, Next used the Just-in-Time JIT, inventory strategy. The company contracted out for all major components, such as mainboards and cases, 
and had the finished components shipped to the first floor for assembly. The second floor was an office space with an open floor plan. The only enclosed rooms were Jobs' office and a few conference rooms. As Next expanded, more office space was needed. The company rented an office in Redwood City, designed by Pei. The architecture centerpiece was a floating staircase with no visible supports. The open floor plan was retained, although furnishings became luxurious with $5,000 chairs, $10,000 sofas, and Ansel Adams prints. Temporary art exhibitions were mounted with an in-house curator. In at least one instance, Jobs ordered the exhibition removed. The first issue of Next World magazine was printed in 1991. It was published in San Francisco by Integrated Media and edited by Michael Milley and later Dan Ruby. It was the only mainstream periodical to discuss Next computers, the operating system, and Next software. Publication was discontinued in 1994 after only four volumes were released. A Next World Expo followed as a developer conference held in 1991 and 1992 in the San Francisco Civic Center and in 1993 at the Moscone Center in San Francisco with Steve Jobs as the keynote speaker. Section 3 Impact on the Computer Industry Despite Next's limited commercial success, the company had a wide-ranging impact on the computer industry. Object-oriented programming and graphical user interfaces became more common after the 1988 release of the NextCube and NextStep, when other companies started to emulate Next's object-oriented system. Apple started the Taligent project in 1989 with the goal of building a Next-like operating system for the Macintosh with collaboration from both HP and IBM. Microsoft announced the Cario project in 1991. The Cario specification included similar object-oriented user interface features for a coming consumer version of Windows NT. Although the project was ultimately abandoned, some elements were integrated into other projects. By 1994, Microsoft and Next were collaborating on a Windows NT port of OpenStep. The port, however, was never released. Web objects failed to achieve wide popularity partly because of the initial high price of $50,000. But it remains the first and most prominent early example of a web application server, which enabled dynamic page generation based on user interactions as opposed to static content. Web objects is now bundled with Mac OS X Server and Xcode. You have just finished listening to Next from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. This sound file was last updated on October 16, 2011. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0.